this next heat. And here we've got Marcel Bearden, Yaroslav Billinger, Klaus Butenschirm again, and Christofferson unmistakably out there with the Audi. Yeah, well, this one should be all about Tommy Christofferson, I think. Tommy Christofferson coming away to lead this one. And, and as we watch this race, of course, um, there's um, a lot of uh, talk going on as to what Tommy Christofferson will be driving next year because we hear that the Volvo factory want to get involved in Rallycross and they want to do it with an 850 turbo uh, four-wheel drive obviously in division what will be next year I think division one because we're going to turn these divisions round uh, Tommy Christopherson has nearly turned the Audi around then but uh, not quite uh, but uh, Tommy wants to, I think to maybe take advantage of the offer he's had from Volvo he's very very reluctant to leave Audi and Audi would be very reluctant I think to lose him so we don't know at the moment what Tommy would be driving next year it's great to know that Volvo are coming back into the sport remember they have previously won the European Championship many years ago with Per Ing Wolfridson but whichever team does not get to Tommy Christopherson then I think that the team will find a big queue of drivers outside the factory gates waiting to see if they can get a drive absolutely and it's showtime today out there for Christopherson the crowd are whistling and cheering him on and he's just chucking that magnificent Audi around the circuit. Isn't it beautiful to watch, isn't it? It really is. Uh, the Maestro at work. And uh, you can hear the applause. I mean, it wasn't a close race, but it was great stuff to watch even so, wasn't it? That's what it's all about.